All right, Hammond, Indiana, we only have two more for you. You know what that means. This is the co-main event of the evening. No, no, Hammond, that is not good enough. This bout is for the Amateur Freedom Lightweight National Championship. So let's hear it for this co-main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Freddy Dog Hurtado. Well, oh, it's not intermission. Oh, he's a mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Freddy Dog Hurtado? That's my dog. <laughs> Why didn't he tell us that? I asked if he had a nickname. He said no. Yeah. They didn't say. They said Cupcake. Cupcake. He goes by Cupcake. Love cupcake and Twinkle Doze. Also known as yeah. Dog. Oh. They told us he goes by Cupcake. Freddy Hurtado, here from Chicago, Illinois. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Danny, the Pitbull, Gonzalez. Waiting on Danny Gonzalez. Take a few seconds. Ladies on. and gentlemen, this bout is for the Amateur Freedom Lightweight National Championship. We have two fighters representing Illinois coming head to head in the Freedom Ring to put it all on the line for the Freedom Lightweight National Championship. Being from Chicago, I've seen both these fighters fight multiple times, and you know they both always proceed to put on a great show. They always, always do the job. They always get the job done. You know, with uh, Freddie having a seven win and three loss record, and Danny having a 13 win and one loss record. You know, you can tell these they put on a pretty impressive performance. So I'm excited to see how they do against each other tonight. Just waiting on uh, Danny Gonzalez. His Teammate had just fought Adam Reynolds one, but it was great. Danny Gonzalez took fifth place at the World Game Qualifiers last year. That 57 kilo bracket was stacked. There was a lot of, you know, our champ, Wally Snoozy was in there. Uh, David Fisher was in there. We had a couple other guys across the country that were really just putting on a show. So it really shows that, you know, Danny's one of the top in the country and he's here to take care of business and be ready for the next one. This will be for the Amateur Lightweight Freedom USA Championship. This will be full rules, so five three-minute rounds at 61 kilograms. Right here, 
Ready to stay loose and warm in the ring. Yeah. Just waiting for his opponent to step in. I know they had uh, his teammate and his coaches just got back from, you know, Adam. Uh, last night, they're from the same gym, so I think they're just getting into the coach's situation. Uh, make sure he's ready to go. But it should just be any moment now. Both fighters always have a pretty big fan base at both their uh, or at fights that they usually fight in. So I'm excited to see how tonight will be with the whole crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, making his way to the ring, fighting out of the red corner, one half of this co-main event of the evening, Illinois versus Illinois, Danny the Pitbull Gonzalez. Oh, we got the dog and the Pitbull tonight. Oh. The dogs, the dog and the Pitbull. There he is, Danny the Pitbull Gonzalez coming out of prime Muay Thai. I don't know, to me, Danny's such a simple guy. He showed up to uh, weigh-ins yesterday in his work boots and Carhartt pants, yeah, you know? He's just a casual you gotta dude. do what you gotta do, casual. Casual dude. Oh, love he to told see me it. he's an electrician. He came straight from work. Yes. Came in his work clothes. He had, he had like dust on him. You know what? You gotta be a dog to do that. Dog. The pit bull. The pit bull. The, <laughs> the pit bull versus the, the dog. dog. <laughs> Two dogs. The following contest is presented by Fight Club Live TV and is for the Amateur Freedom Lightweight National Championship. This bout also serves as our co-main event of the evening. This bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter is 23 years old, standing six feet even. He holds an official record of seven wins, opposite of three defeats. His official weight, 60.8 kilos. He hails from Chicago, Illinois, representing the fight firm. Please welcome Freddy Dog Hurtado. Freddy Hurtado, this is his first time on Freedom. This is also his first title fight. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old, standing five feet, nine inches tall. He holds an impressive record of 13 wins, opposite of one defeat. His official weight is 60.2 kilos. He's coming to us tonight by way of Lyle, Illinois. He's representing Prime Muay Thai. Please welcome Danny, the pit Gonzalez! Awesome, love to see it, love to see the fire with a smile. Yeah. DJ, please hit the Y cruise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both well, fighters have very smooth styles, so I'm excited to see how they'll go against each yeah. other. Two composed technical athletes, so I think it'll make up for a good match. Again, this is our co-main event of the evening. We have one more fight after this. this is our main event for our Youth Lightweight Freedom USA Championship. A rematch between the two, Alex Inatov and David De La Paz. So that is coming up after this fight.
Referee Ryan Clark, aka Robot. Robot. <laughs> The pit bull versus dog. The dog. Two dogs, two animals. Ready, <laughs> really, just give it all they got. This is our co-main event of the evening. Again, for the Lightweight Freedom USA Championship. Both the fighters are kind of just kind of filling it out right now, finding the right range. Danny with the good head movement, getting yeah. it out of the way. Yeah, Danny moving his head, staying light on his feet. Both fighters really long. Yeah, long legs, long arms. Yeah. Freddie tries to double up that kick. Danny doing oh, a great yeah. job doubling up the kick. Yeah. Freddie catches him with a good, kind of locked him with clutch. Ooh, Freddie kind of brought that knee up real high. Danny looking like he's shaking it off. Again, staying relaxed. Both fighters very loose, very loose, yeah. and ready to throw anything. Good jab from Danny. Oh, good, yeah, kind of, both kind of throw kicks at the same time. So they're just trying to find the right range right now. Ooh, stiff jab right down the middle from Danny. Brings him into the clinch. Look at Danny, yeah, punching off the ropes. Danny's doing a great job moving yeah. with wherever Freddie puts him, honestly. Freddie does seem bit. Yeah. Freddie seems to have more control of where the fight's going, but Danny's doing a great job just adapting and fighting off of it. Yeah. Freddie, yeah, just coming forward, walking it down, but. Danny seems fine, he seems collected. Just kind of taking his time, moving his feet. Ooh, yeah, I see, right hand slips right out of it. Good. Good little sweet yeah. little punch. Danny's doing a great job with that head movement. Yeah, he's got a good style to him. He's just Freddie's coming in very real, straight. Yeah, real evasive. He's, yeah, pick and move. Kind of just reading he's, whatever yeah, Freddie's throwing. Just hit, hit and move, hit and move. Staying out of the range of Freddie here. Oh, tie the clinch. Freddie trying to find his way in with that teeth fake there. But Danny's still just light on his feet. He's moving pretty his head. Low, but yeah, he just like he's having a good time. He's just, you know, yes, he's happy low. He's, he's moving with it, though, Keep, keeping loose. Good Great first, first round. round. Whoa. Jinx. We share the same brain. At this point, we might as well. <laughs> Close round. I mean, both fighters back and forth. Um, it can really, I think, you know, if you're, if you're scoring Freddie's pressure, he's walking forward, but Danny, you know, he's scoring as well. He's hitting and he's moving. He's, he's adjusting. Picks his, picks his shots, slips out of the one that Freddie's going to try to throw next. So it's, it's almost like, you know, he's preparing. You know, you he's always countering gotta, off of You always got to be two walking. steps ahead. Yeah. And he sees it come in, so he's hits, he punches, he gets out of the way. He's doing a great job of slipping Freddie's punches, staying away, evading all of those. But pretty, I mean, it's a pretty close fight going into the second round. We'll see how the fighters adjust and how they go into this next round. All right, second round, here we go. Both fighters showing respect. They won't see each other grow up in this sport, so. We're going in our second round. 
both of ours. Yep, just trading body kicks right now. Dana does a great job just flinging his legs up there. Yeah, it's real fast. Still moving, staying loose. Oh, yeah. Caught a jab caught, on caught the, the teeth in. there. But yeah, kind of ate the jab on the way in. Good knees for the two of them. Freddie trying to block the hips there. Good. Block the hips, referee stops it, breaks it up there. I have sparred with Danny before, and I know that he is a very counter fighter, so it's kind of expected oh. to see uh, what he's doing here. I just wish he would come forward a little bit, which would maybe yeah. secure him a few more combinations, but yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job going off whatever Freddie's throwing. Yeah, he's still he's evading most of those punches and blocking those kicks. But yeah, I would like to see Mia come forward, just put the pressure on just a little bit, just to land, you know, more solid punches maybe. Ooh, good catch from Freddie there, kind of. Throws Danny into the ropes. Ooh, good body kick from Danny Lynn's crisp around Freddie's ribs. Freddie's doing a great job just moving forward with that jab and throwing whatever comes yeah. off of it. And Danny's slick, but it's it's dangerous, you know, if you're going straight back with your hands down and trying to evade all those punches. Freddie's got such a long reach, long arms, long legs that I mean, he can really hit you with anything if you drop your hands that low. Both fighters super busy, so. Yes, very, very active. It's gonna fight. be a long, long <laughs> five rounds for sure. Three minutes each round, you know. Looks like Danny did get caught with a little, little something there, but seems to shake it off pretty well. Yeah, it kind of goes high and low. It's a good change of levels from Danny. Freddie, right back. Yeah, that was a kick for kick. Oh, miss there. Freddie, Danny came back right away. Yeah, Freddie's still blocking most of those low kicks. Freddie's a very stationed, just walking in fighter, throwing that jab, yeah. throwing that cross. Ooh. Caught down with Danny right there with the jab and the cross. Yeah. Down the middle, he just bouncy, caught bouncy. Danny in the corner, so he had nowhere to go. I mean, all that head movement he does is very fluid and loose, but you get stuck on the ropes in the corner like that, you have nowhere to go. It's very hard to get out. Good round. Freddie's doing a great job just with the basics, just one, two, yeah, walking him down. I mean, simple. basics always work. Simple. I think that round was a lot, a lot closer. I think. I think Freddie's finally starting to you know, find his groove a little bit. Uh, again, like I said, it's just simple. One, two, body kick. Or one, two, low kick. Uh, just to solidify those combos. Back and forth, though. I'm not, I'm not sure how, it, how it's going to look on the scorecards. I think first round, I might have gave it to Danny. Second round, I think I might have given it to Freddie a little more. Uh, but it's back and forth. It's gonna be, we'll see how it looks from the judges' angles. Our seconds out warning. Going into our third round. Round three out of five here for our lightweight freedom USA championship. Both fighters busy. Still looking fresh going into the third round. Looking like they want it. Oh, Starting right off right strong right away. Danny, right good. Simple combination, just jab cross hook. Another nice one from Danny. Danny does something good with the head movement, go across the body. Good low kicks. Freddy did a great job working the distance in the clinch right there. Danny caught him right in the head on that one. Danny caught Freddie off, off guard a little bit. Hit him with a solid jab cross while he was on the ground. But I mean, 
it was quick and all happened so fast. It's hard. To, it's hard to really stop it while while it's happening. It's hard to stop a punch when you're already throwing it. Yeah, especially when in a fight. Ooh, good, good knee from Freddie. With Danny really just kind of securing that like body lock on the lower back. Oh, Freddie with a one-two right Ooh, away, right yeah. Danny. Good lock up in the clinch again. There goes Danny again. He's going for that lower back. Freddie staying busy though. Bringing those knees all the way up to the body. Boom. Danny with a good keep, keeping Freddie outside. Just out of his range. Freddie's still walking forward. Danny's yeah, still just coming, getting out of that corner. Forward. Good body kick from Freddie. Good uh, body combo yeah, right there. Danny, Danny. Danny trying to change the levels a little bit. And she's kick for kick. Danny trying to come in with a big one too. Freddie hitting him back what with a big one too. Fight. Two high level local fighters. So he's the best in the Midwest yeah, right staying here. Staying busy. A very high paced fight, especially. I mean, this is only our third round. We have another two rounds after this. Both these fighters keeping the intensity up, really going at it. I mean, it's back and forth. Danny shoots those kicks up there so high, but doesn't seem to hit land all of them. I don't know. I just like to see Danny move forward a little bit more and be landing. I think a yeah, he's, he is moving a little more forward now than going into these later rounds. Um, but he's just so, he likes that slick style. Oh, what a good exchange. Great, that There's a 10 second warning coming up. Both these guys Both coming fighters forward. Going back Freddy, big forward. step forward with the knee. Putting Danny on the ropes here. Ooh, good round. Ooh, Both that's a fighters. close round. Tidy. Both fighters showing that they want it here. Two more rounds. Two more to go, going into our fourth round. Four out of five. I don't know, it's close. I don't know how to score it. I mean, first round I get Danny. Second round I maybe get to Freddy. That round that right there. That her third round, I don't know, it was pretty. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. It was just two back and forth just to see from our angle, I can't tell. It was a here, it was right in front of us a lot. It's kind of hard to. It's hard to see, I mean, from the clinch, I think that last like minute or so, Freddy was finding the more dominant position. But the beginning of the round, Danny again, he was he was more solid than he was. Yeah, combos, back though. and forth. One would come in, miss, the other one would hit him, and then the other one would come in and miss, and then the other one would exactly. hit him, and it was. So we'll see how it goes going in this fourth round out of five. And round round four and five. Some of the most important rounds going into the title fight. So this is where fighters gotta really turn it up. Oh, nice. Ref, fix my elbow pad. I don't want to hurt my opponent. <laughs> Can it be me? <laughs> All right, here we go. Round four out of five. Both fighters still still composed, looking like they're trying to pick their shots evenly. Ooh, nice Beautiful little combo. Finish just left kick. Cross and oh, left Danny kick. hitting him right back with the right kick. Good cross. Looks like Danny's kind of turning Freddie into the corner now. Yeah, a, ooh, a nice little sneaky elbow from Freddie. Good off balance by Freddie. Both fighters looks like they're just trying to get a down position in the clinch, not really kneeing right away. Ooh, Danny with a good little combination there. Good. Locked back up in the clinch. Freddie's doing a good job kind of bringing those knees up and spearing them out now, creating a little more space. I like to see Danny set up those kicks maybe a little bit more. He's kind yeah. of just missing that low kick. Yeah, times just down. a little kind of set it up, touch with his hands first. Ooh, he tries for that spinning back kick, but. Freddie steps right in. Yeah, Freddie saw it coming. I gotta do a step in, close that space before someone steps in and try to spin on you. Ooh, good little step. Freddie caught that teep right there, trying oh. to step in the sweep. Catch that. Ooh, Stiff both of you guys just Freddy. walking into each other's jabs. It's exciting. You can hear the crowd. I mean, two pretty much local guys. The energy right here. Ooh, good body kick. 
I can't even finish my sentences. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful combo. It's coming good, yeah. fighters now. Danny really stepping in now. Now he's officially, he's finally coming forward. Freddie trying, trying to put the pressure on. Little. Putting Freddie in the corner a little bit. But can let's see, if, see if he can hold him there. See Power Freddy. with that punches right now. Good low kicks from Danny. Every time Freddie steps in, Danny's throwing that, that low kick. I would like Freddie maybe just, you know, throw that body kick as, you know, Danny's really winding up those punches. It's really easy to score and kick on other punches when someone's winding it up that much. But Danny's really Both trying fires. to load those punches up now. Danny's really putting everything behind those punches. Oh, Freddie. Okay. You see, Danny, now Danny's trying to come forward now with that pressure. Wow. He's really leading with his hands now. I just, he's they gotta, still got one more round. Yeah, he's got to finish with a kick or a knee or something first. Ooh, it's a solid right, jab from Danny. Yeah, yeah Danny tough. coming in with those Danny hands now. Danny's doing great with those hands now. Really letting go with his hands now. He's, he's got to finish with a kick or something. Saw that there one, those one, a couple one twos work, and he's coming in now. Yeah, Danny's screaming at his opponent. What an exciting round. And Ebola just walking to each other's jabs. Wow. Both wow. the strong one twos. Oh my goodness. One more round. A whole nother round. You wow. can see the crowd is just loving it. I couldn't, I don't know how to score that one. I mean, it's so it's so close and it's so back and forth, especially that round. Good I think. thing we don't have to. Good thing I'm not a judge right now. I think I'm just excited to see both them and it's exciting. Danny, you know, he's such a slick fighter, but finally coming forward now using that pressure. He's throwing a lot more heavy hands now, but I think, you know, in order in this next round to, to take the, the fight, he's got to solidify it, finish with kicks or finish with knees. Danny can't be taking those step back, steps back if he wants yeah, to take it. He has to, he has to fight how he fought in the last the last minute of that round yeah. if he wants to take it. Freddie really, really coming alive though, those last, maybe, yeah, even that last round, round three, really starting to wake up, using his reach. He's, you know, he's got long arms, snapping those punches out. Fifth and final round, here we go. Final round. Oh, fighters hugging it out. You know, Muay Thai is all about respect. Both fighters kind of faint, fainting and faking, waiting for their opponents to kind of make that first move. Ready, trying to fling that like, right head cap up. Ooh, see, Danny's still slipping and evading those punches, but he's got to score after that. He's got to throw something to kind of counter. Oh, good jab from Freddy. And they tied up, tied up in the clinching. Big knee from Danny. He's really, you can tell, he's really trying to squeeze and hold that position. Both fighters know their opponent's trying to kill right now, so they're trying to, like, see who's going to play that first Good step jab in. from Freddy. That first step in game. Freddy's got real long arms. He's just popping that jab out. Wow. A little Great sneaks in a body shot. shot. Good. I can hear it. Yeah. I would like to start to get something of a kick after that solid jab. Jab again. Jab Fred again. Is really using that left hand. Guys. Oh. And That's there was the specialty. corn dog. My specialty. There was the corn dog. Of all the things, knee to the butt, knee to the back, it's gotta be my favorite thing ever. Back and forth. Ooh, tries to sneak that body shot in. Freddy, Danny, Freddy Danny is really throwing the power with his hands right now. You see Danny kind of talking to his opponent a little bit. He's trying to move still. Freddie really landing some solid hands now. He's using that just barely a few inches long reach, a few inches longer reach to solidify who wins those exchanges. Yeah, I mean, he's landing. He's got a solid jab. He's landing. Ooh, see, wow. jab. Just to set that right hand up. You can hear the crowd just chanting for both these guys back and forth. Ooh, beautiful Good hook. hook. Just tie right hook from Freddie. But the Danny. head movement, Danny's head movement is so nice. He's pairing, he's pairing punches, slipping punches. Oh, oh. he tried it. You know, well, well, no, no. I, give him, okay. I give him props for trying it, but yeah. you, you can't do that. 
<laughs> it's worth a shot. It looks cool, right? If you land it. Yeah. <laughs> Back and forth. A little kick for kick. Danny's coming in with that body kick. There's that 10, ten second one. Into that final round. See how these guys come out in the last 10 seconds. Freddie's just avoiding all of Danny's kicks yeah, right now. Danny's just, just kicking the kick. Wow, beautiful wow. fight. What a crazy fight. I don't know, really. It was back and forth. Two hometown crowds. Both these guys look Ooh. confident. Both fighters confident. And both sides of the crowd going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Danny's family, you got Freddie's family and supporters. I think it was a close fight. I'm not sure. I mean, we saw a draw earlier on the card. I hope so, there's not another one. I hope it's not. But there's always that chance, you never know. I don't think it is. I think both the fighters, <laughs> both the fighters did an excellent job, had great performances. Two effective and both great styles. Both fighters in the Midwest. Yeah, great styles for fights. I mean, Freddie had solid, just straight punches, simple, straight punches, body kick or low kick. Danny was slick and evasive. Life smooth his head, evaded most of those punches, and encountering with big body hits or anything. All right, here we'll, we are. We'll waiting see. For that decision. Just waiting for the judges' scorecards now. Five rounds to see Ladies Freedom USA Championship on the line. Announce this decision. How about putting your hands together for both these warriors Beautiful. in this co-main event the of the evening? After five rounds, we have a split decision, mm. declaring your winner and new Freedom Fighter Promotions amateur lightweight national champion, fighting out of the blue corner. Ready! Go! Hurtado! What a great from the two of them. And I had Freddy the dog Hurtado. Freddy dog Hurtado. A Hurtado, yeah. Freddy Cupcake. <laughs> yeah, his teammate called him. You know, they said they called him Cupcake. I don't see the sweet side of him yet, though. <laughs> uh, great performance from him. You know, I had, I think, Freddy. Yeah, so it was a close fight. I think he up. edged it up. And then he picked it up in those last, you know, round, from round three, he started picking it up round four. Again, he just kept selling, kept the simple, he just straight punches, kick, straight punches, knee. He was landing solid, solid punches towards the end of the round, but standing on it. Ladies great and gentlemen, performance as well. I am being joined by the new amateur freedom lightweight national champion, Freddie Dog Hurtado. Freddie, my first question is, the new Amateur Freedom Lightweight National Champion. How does that sound, my friend? Fuck. My bad. Um, <laughs> man, this feels amazing. I just want to thank Rami. He believed in me. I barely had any experience. This is my first title fight. And shit, I hope I put on a performance for y'all. I hope y'all see why he believed in me. I got heart, man. I ain't going to back down from anybody. And I just want y'all to know no matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody's telling you, as long as you believe in yourself and you put in 110% effort every time and you got the right people behind you, anything is possible, bro. Anything you put your mind to, you can achieve it. I promise you, and I'm speaking this from the heart, my adrenaline's on 10, but man, the stars is only the beginning. I'm going to different galaxies, man. I'm going to different worlds. I'm coming straight to the top, baby. I promise you, this is just the beginning. 
Like you said, it's just the beginning. I know your adrenaline's on 100 right now. You're the man with the target on your back. You're the new champion, so tell us, when can we expect to see you defending your new piece of hardware? Look, I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to spend some time with my son. He's five months, uh, the holiday's coming up. I wanna spend some time with him, but man, fuck that. Anybody who wanted can get it whenever, anywhere. I'm with it, baby, let's go. One more time for your winner and new Freedom Fighter Promotions lightweight national champion. He said, Freddy I want to spend the holiday with my Raw kids. Psych. <laughs> Wow, great performance from Freddie. Great performance Dodd. and great ending speech. <laughs> and yeah, what a speech. That's the way you can close it out. Way to just really just put the stamp on winning a national title. We'll definitely see him probably sometime soon.